for many people have been looking for opportunities to become truck drivers in western world especially united states and canada but majority do not know what it takes to become a truck driver how much money can make you can make through truck drivers challenges but most importantly how can you take to the next level from just being a truck, a truck driver to become the operator and the owner of the truck so today I'm going to invite one friend of mine he's yes. going to explain to us in a very long interview as not just a truck driver but owner How of the truck owner, yes, sir. yeah welcome Shaba. thank you thank you very much sir I'm grateful for your invitation I really appreciate what you do for the community what you give back to the society of Africans especially immigrants like us who we come from other countries to America and to strive and try to you know, to find uh, a good work and uh, provide for our family. So I'm so grateful, first of all, to meet you in person from Kansas to Travel, Missouri, all the way down here to Dallas, Texas. So I'm so grateful. Uh, today, like uh, like your introduction, you say, I'm going to try to show the people the ins and outs, how to make, how to live and to become a truck driver, especially to own one of the truckers and advantages and also the um, challenges what we face and how can you go about it so I'm, I'm so i'm so grateful i can be able to share those information for you guys and for those who do not know this is just your truck the truck you own yes this is my truck <laughs> this is the temple logistics and i am ceo or president of the company and i'll be on this now for three years my company before that i was you know that's just a truck driver and we will get into that and I'll, I will explain everything the steps what I took for me to become an owner operator yeah so you can see the truck itself that is a truck so we'll be doing the interview from the inside so that you can be away from the noise a little bit so let's go inside and continue the interview welcome guys and I'll be able to share everything I have and uh, please join us on a comment and I'll be able to answer all the questions and uh, I'll really appreciate for this chance to explain everything what I know about the trucking business, trucking owning and all the truck jobs in America because I go through about six years now with experience on their, on their, on their department. Thank you. Okay guys, we are still in Texas here and we are continuing with the interview. Yes, he, he, he told me not to, to do not enter, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think we're gonna go to the second one there. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Okay. So we have a lot of questions, and the many people, especially immigrants, want to know more about the, the trucking business. But before we go to the trucking business and the everything, uh, what is the procedure? What What is the procedure? What, what is it required? Exactly. Yeah, what is your PhD need? in what do you trucking? Need? Yes. Yeah. All those are the very important things. Yes. But before then. Uh, let me ask you immigration question. Yes. How long have you been in the United States? Uh, for, for me, I mean, I've been here since 1999. Um, 23 years to count Tw today. 23 years and in I the was, United States. Uh, I was, yes, I was came here as a student with a F1 visa student uh, scholarship, as a soccer scholarship. And uh, I'm so grateful, man. That was changing of life from Tanzania to here as a young boy. <laughs> I'm almost 40 years now, so, so I, I stay longer in U.S. Yeah, exactly. That's than, my question. Yes, <laughs> I stay longer in U.S. than than in Tanzania. So I'm grateful. My father vision was was very good since since, since back days. Okay. <laughs> Another question I usually ask most of the people. Yes. When you were coming on the first day, did you ever even think that you'd be staying this long? Man, <laughs> believe me, I used to have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Martina, if you if you hear me, don't kill me. <laughs> May I plan just to get my degree, man, and go back home. <laughs> but it been it been 20, 20, 20 some years, man. I don't I don't I don't complain. I don't blame. I don't regret. No regret don't, for no, the kind. No regret for no nothing. So I'm I'm so grateful, man. Uh, life goes on. My fiance get married. I got married. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful wife, you know, beautiful three, four kids I got now. Shout out to Chris, Abraham, uh, Titita, my youngest one, and Isaac, baby Isaac. We born the same birthday. Oh, me and Isaac. Yeah. Yes. So 
is, is I'm, I'm grateful, man, and, uh, and uh, as, a, as, a, as a migrant, you come to this nation, man, you're trying to strive, get a happiness, and live better life, man, and trying to help other people. So I was so grateful, man. Among the so many people who are watching my YouTube channel, yes, sir. are people from West Africa, and especially Sierra Leone. Oh, that's where my wife's from. <laughs> <laughs> that's where my love is from, man. Sierra Leone is where my wife came from. Uh, Kono tribe, you know, Kono in the house. Uh, <laughs> I know what they say. Uh, they say, um, Inte, <laughs> uh, Intentema, Kasiatama. I, I speak the language, man. <laughs> So, my in-laws from uh, 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 Sierra Leone, man, I'm here. I'm here for you guys, and uh, any question, any help, I'll be able to help, man. So, I'm a, I'm a best of both worlds, man, East and West Coast. Exactly. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. how long have you been mm. doing track? Both as a driver, but also mm. operator, owner. As an operator. Own operator. Okay, that's a very good question, man. Uh, there's a process to become my owner operator. You can't just talk to America, even if you have a hundred hundred thousand dollars, you wanna buy a truck. You can you can be able to be a, a owner operator. You can be an owner operator for hiring somebody. But if you wanna do it by yourself, there is a process, there's a steps you have to follow to become a driver first, to get trained, to get accepted from my insurance companies, then you become an owner operator. So when I came uh, in a state, like I say, you go to school, get married, and do stuff like that. Uh, my buddy showed me his check for a month. He said, Shabani, this is what I make for a month. And the check was $10,000. So I asked him what you do. He said, May say I'm a truck driver. You know, I'm a contractor. I work for the company, but I'm not owning any truck, but I contract with them. And I got my CDL, so. I make at least two thousand dollar, three thousand dollar every week. And that's why it changed my mind, man. <laughs> and stop the nursing, stop <laughs> the nursing studies, <laughs> and trying to become a truck driver. So for those who are coming, I usually tell you, come here, study, become a nurse. Yes. Just look for other option too. You don't yes. need to spend four years of nursing school. Yeah. You can just spend for five, six months training and get good money. Exactly. Exactly. And and it's not a shortcut. But it's a sustainable, yeah. And the job is available 24/7. Right now, they hire somebody from school, six months experience or one year experience. They pay 70 cents for one mile. Okay. So seven cents for one mile. If you drive 3,000 miles a week, you make at least 21. 2100 a week as a truck driver. Not, not the owner. The, not the owner. Not just the owner. You simple just driver. drive for somebody. You drive for my truck, I pay you 70 cents a mile. So legally you can drive up to 3,000 miles a week. So if you drive 3,000 miles a week times 70 cents, you are bringing home around 2100 every week. And the check will be on your bank account every Friday. So uh, it's not shortcut, but uh, it's, it's, it's a good money and uh, crucial cause you may work for maybe one month, can get your CDL and you can get a commercial training, driving license. Commercial, uh -huh. Then you, you, you can go uh, for training for another month. The, there's a lot of company where they offer those trainings. So you can go there to school, after school you can go to the big company where they have in-house insurances. They can cover you as a learner driver. So. After six months, my brother, my sister, you become a professional truck driver. License-wise, DOT recognize you, insurance people recognize you, and you can get a job just like that. And just, I want to add something. Mm. People should know that the economy of the United States, the lifestyle of the United States, the everyday, everything is delaying and basing on shipping, yes. Yes. delivery, Yes. Of goods yes. and serve whatever what we are you, doing. You see all these businesses right here. You see all these businesses right here. Uh, that's our uh, rocking outdoors. We bring material. Yeah. That's pawn shop cash plus right there. We bring material. There's a gun gun range right there. We bring those material. You know there's a uh, what they call uh, Chick Fil A. Right yeah. There. We bring those food. So everything you see come to the shop near you. Truck driver or uh, 
uh, uh, delivery guy or box board or any kind of transportation. It came from the warehouse to the truck, truck to the consumer. That's why we see, whatever we were going away, we see so many trucks around. Yes. They are passing us. It's yes. just, yes. that's the normal thing in America. Yes, yes, that's it. absolutely right. So, uh, uh, this choice, man, it was not coming accidentally, man. I, I meditate on this one. Uh, I got a lot of help from my people, like John Paul, uh, Weezy, Richard, you know, uh, Kemp. You know, those brothers, when they help me when I, I don't have a rent, I'm, I'm in school. Manny, brother Manti, yeah. I don't have no rent, I'm, I'm in school. Hey man, give your, give your, your in-law $300, man, so I can pay you next week. But I'm, I'm starting a trucking business. So, right now I'm giving back. <laughs> and I'm giving back. Just for sharing this information. It's huge. You know, it's, you know I, I feel so relieved, like... I did something big to help other people to get more information. You know what I'm saying? So literally, I'm so grateful for Mr. Ernest here, Makolilo. Uh, do I pronounce your name well, man? Because yeah, Makolilo. Okay, good. Yeah, Makolilo. Um, uh, this uh, this Kigoma guy, man. <laughs> I'll be watching the YouTube now. I'm here in YouTube with you. So I'm so grateful, man, and uh, I'm here to help. Yeah. Uh, so. What is the difference between a truck driver mm. and the owner operator driver, whatever? What is the difference? Okay. Because we, we have been using this terminology. Terminology, we don't people know. should know okay. this so, difference. So there is a three or two stages of trucking business in America. Or I could say there's a five. Yeah. As a driver, you just get hired with the company and you work based off salary or wages or payment weekly or hourly or mileage wise or percentage wise you just working for somebody i have a truck i have my company as a temple logistics i'm hiring you as a truck driver we negotiate and i'll be paying you 70 cents a mile dollar a mile or i can make i can make roughly uh percentages wise i can say i'll pay you 23 percent for whatever we make for the week so you take percentage or you take the mileage wise and uh, a lot of people they take the percentage or the mileage because the more mileage you work, you, you you make, the more the more money you get in. So either way, it's, it's not that much different. Take the so, so, so I'm sorry. Let me let me get over. Let me get over. You yeah. still have a construction, so you you have to be yeah, you have to be careful. So um, like I say, so that's the first level. You get your CDL. You get your experience, a uh, big company hire you, you become a truck driver for that particular for, the, for a particular company. Minimum, any truck driver, new or old, on this market right now, you cannot make under a thousand dollars out here a week. Somebody hire you, you have to be guaranteed at least a thousand dollars a week. So this is a good market now to become a truck driver because there's a lot of demand, you know, because of the recession, because of the inflation, because of Ukraine war, because of the fuels. So a lot of people quit, there are people they don't wanna work. So pandemic, so this is a good time to join because now you get the full advantage from the beginning. You have to be, uh, have a, too much experience just to get paid uh, well. So this is a good time to do that. For saying that though, uh, another thing, the second one is, when you become a truck driver, now you learn the other ways of to become an owner operator. You can do two things on that one. That one, number one, you can lease a truck. But I don't recommend that one that much because leasing, uh, if you get, you, you get somebody bad, lease a truck to you, you're just gonna be working for them for so long, almost five years and you don't own any, 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 anything because now you have to work to fulfill, pay the truck. And once you finish the once truck, finish is, the truck is gonna be used already for five years. Yeah. And then you have to you know, start maintenance and other stuff like that. The best way to do is to buy, if it's not a new truck, but you can buy a used truck like I did 2015. So this is a 2015 truck uh, about two years ago. So this truck, is guaranteed at least three or four hundred thousand miles 
and every year I can drive at least a thousand miles, a hundred thousand miles. So a hundred thousand miles, this is the math that comes from, three thousand miles a week times four a month is twelve thousand miles. Yeah. Times ten months is almost roughly a hundred and some. Yeah. So a hundred thousand miles is durable to do a year. And then a year, another formula say, you have to save one dollar for each mile. Yeah. The formula. So every year, you are guaranteed you're gonna make a hundred thousand dollars. And that's what they say: truck driving, on operator, the hundred thousand salary. Guarantee. Guarantee. That means you, you, either way, you'll make this kind of money. Either way. So. Um, the second step is a little bit tricky on the leasing part but if you have experience you have a little bit cash you have a good credit you can go to the dealer and get your own truck but people they made mistake again after you get your own truck you wanna buy uh, you wanna uh, no you wanna dispatch it yourself because dispatching is another journal or part or department of trucking so there is just, a, uh, to make it easier for people, uh -huh. when you say dispatching is someone who is getting yes, the deals a, for you. Yes, then exactly. The, where, what should you carry? Yes. Where? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So dispatching is a middleman between a customer, which is a broker, and a truck driver or owner operator. Yeah. So I have a business. My truck is business, but somebody else have a business to talk to the brokerage or or, or, or customer uh, to to get you a load. So that one is is work by itself. So when you when you drive, you can be able to make deals when you're still driving. You yeah. know, so let the professionals yeah, do their let, job. Let the professional, other professionals do their job. You just give them the percentage of the whatever the loads. Like 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 my, for example, me. Uh, make us group. My, my my company is Tembo Logistics. Right, Tembo Logistics LLC. But I'm work under Makers Group. Those are brokerage, or oh, those are dispatching who they find loads for me. So I don't have to worry about looking on the computer, looking to find it for loads. When I wake up in the morning, they know I already deliver. I send a message, like yesterday, last night yeah. you did. This morning, say, hey, I'll get a load so, so time. And now we, here we are, we go pick up a load. So that one it make easy. But you can still learn how to pick up a load for yourself because in the future, you don't wanna be just a truck driver because you can hire drivers and you can dispatch them for your own trucks. So that's the advantage when you have your truck, but you don't have to rush to get to be a dispatcher because those two jobs, let the professional do, and you do your professional as a truck driver. So the third one is a combination of both. You broke your own load. Yeah, <laughs> You're dispatching. Yes, and some driving. People, and some people they do, some people they do, some. Because now there's a lot of companies like FedEx, for yeah. example, UPS, for example, the big one is Amazon, so Walmart. If, uh, Walmart, you know. So if I want to contract you with Walmart, I'm just sending uh, my application once. Oh. You understand? So you're going to have like a one year contract or six month contract. You don't have to book loads every day on a spot market. So you're already in a contract for a year or six months. So you're good. If you go that route, 100% is good. But Amazon is gonna go weekly. Maybe four weeks, you have to book yeah. again. Three weeks, you have to book again. So those are, are jobs are where you are to be careful a little bit because it's, it's time consumed to look for a perfect load on your, on, your, on, your, on, your, on your computer. Then you have to drive and stuff like that. So it's better to let professional do their work and then you, you so I think I explained very well those difference between a truck driver how much you earn at least a thousand dollars a week to drive for somebody after experience you become an owner operator that's a second step when you can start owning double at least two thousand dollars minimum per week and you have a you have a, a 50 weeks or 52 weeks in a, in a year so you can do the math 2,000 times 50 is 100,000. So that's money you make, you bring it in. It come back to the mileage I told you. You can drive 100,000 miles a year 
and at least you save one dollar, you still make a hundred thousand. So math don't lie. Exactly. Yeah, so I'll just you know verify the hundred thousand dollars that's what you're gonna be you're gonna be making. And uh it's a few a lot of few Africans, a lot of few people they make their kind of money in America. Truck drivers maybe messing and they have to, to do many hours. Maybe professional, you know. But the nurse can make that, but it's not their business. It's, you don't own anything. Yeah, you this just, is yours. You just give service. This is mine. I can park now here. I can go with you with a plane in Missouri. That, that, <laughs> yeah, that is another another difference. Another difference yeah, which is owning and uh, truck driver. Uh, if you're, you're you're a truck driver, you work under contract with somebody. This way here, I make under contract for myself. How much I want to make? How much a week I want to bring home? If I want to bring home 2000 3000 then I put 20 Is, is that the downtown that Dallas? Down, downtown Dallas, but we are now... We are not going there. We are, we are now wait for our... Uh, 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 we are now 35 South, where it's Fort Worth, Arlington, and Dallas. But we don't go Dallas, we're going to go Dallas to, to pick up a second lot. But now we think we're going to go outside Dallas a little bit. Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, you see this road coming up here, it say Abilene. Yeah. Uh, Abilene, there is a university yes. called. Uh, I, I got admission on that yeah. university. So Abilene there is one of the richest places in Texas. Ask okay. me why. Why? That's where the fuel come from. Oh, all, all the rig, there, all the crude oil, all the they 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 they, 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 they the big wells, Exxon Mobil, they are here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. This this America, man. There's so. After how long while you were in the United States, you mm. came to know that trucking is a good thing? Like I say, um, I give credit where credit is due. My brother Mohamedi, Mo, Segule, uh, John Paul. These are people who inspire me. Faisal, Matraki, Weezy, Richard Weezy. Uh, we was talking about these things since we get here in America. We're going to own truck, we're going to do truck, but we didn't know how. But when somebody show you like I do this time, I'm showing you uh, my checks. I'm showing you my my loads where I'm, I'm picking up. Uh, he motivates you. He gives you the uh, another side that you see. Okay, this even me I can be able to do. Yeah. So the changing point was when Muhammad showed me the ten thousand dollar check for a month. That's why I tricked him and said, Oh man, I'm in the wrong business, man. I need to start going to school. And to become a truck driver, and that was 2000. If I don't mistake, 12. Yeah, it yeah. Was 2012. After being in the US for about 10 years, years. almost 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the interview which you want yeah. to make sure people should not wait should for 10 wait. years. No, 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 no. They should have you to come wait. from day one. You know this information. Yes, you know this information, man. So you can. So you make a yourself. decision. If yes. you're going there from yes. day one, this is what I'm going to do. Yes, you can apply yourself there. So it's very crucial to know this information hand hands on so you can be able to transform yourself apply yourself you know and be available for those opportunities where once they they arrive yeah i mean there are so many things we usually yes. tell immigrants like you even if you're not planning to do better to know that information no, better, yes 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 know the truck even if you're not going to drive yes because one if day you know the technology you might hire somebody to work for you and what i'm saying you're gonna be able to apply yourself. You no, know, you don't have to be uh, surprising where uh, you don't have to pay. You don't have to know how to pay the driver or such and such. So if I give you the information, you should be able to. You should be able to apply yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is just behind us yes. on blind spot. Oh, it's like that guy. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. You have, you have to be careful. You, know? you have to. Uh, one of the things, when we big trucks, we know our impact when we hit somebody. You know, we can kill, we can, we can destroy your car, we can do a lot of damage. So it's our responsibility to make sure other drivers are safe. So whenever I'm driving, I want to make sure the other drivers are safe. Yeah, because our truck is so big, man. If I, and look, look the way we are. We are on top there, top of the of the world. <laughs> Everybody's down here. So if they, you only you can you can mess up my bumper. 
like you see my right hand bumper, right? Somebody yeah. hit himself there, he's almost died. But it was, it was his fault, you know? So, we have obligation to make sure safety is number one. See another big truck. Yeah, that's a big truck. That's a flatbed. Where, oh, the flatbed. Yeah, flatbed where you can, you, you can have all the materials like that, you know? Don't worry about Yeah. Any question you have for your people, man? <laughs> I still have a lot of questions. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, and not just tracking, just in general. If uh, at what is at after how long being in the United States, mm. you came to know what is credit score and the impact of credit score. Yes, I late, I late, and I don't blame my brothers. <laughs> Back in the days, all this technology, man, was not here. So I late. It took me about five years when I was in college. I went to find to, to uh, I came. I finished college, I mean, I came from college, I came to North Carolina, I want to buy my, my first car. Yeah. And I went to the dealer and the guy said, man, you have money and everything, but you don't have it. Your credit score is 500. You can't qualify, for, you can't even qualify for a bicycle, man. <laughs> I said, man, what is this? I said, man, this is a credit credit score. You have to go to your bank and, and ask for them to give you a credit card. Yeah. But I didn't know those information, uh, you know, from the beginning. Uh, you need to make one video just for credit so people can know when they come here to take a credit card and how and to proper use, use it, it and proper use it not yeah. just to not take to a credit card, credit card and then just, just use, to go to the movie uh, theater uh, no, no 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 you know properly use the credit card for to building. benefit to building your credit so you can be able to buy a house you can be able to buy your car you can be able to send your kids in college get a loan big loans like a hundred thousand dollars and pay for five ten years you know, those, those are things I miss back in the days. I wish I knew. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. I can't even get a loan because I'm, I'm, I'm making I'm a making good living. Eh? Brother Ernest, you know. What other things you wish you, you could know as a new immigrant coming to America? Uh, uh, wow, that's a very good question. Continue on South Freeway for half a mile. That's a very good question, but... I think uh, education wise is one yeah yeah especially uh, on the technology side uh, I regret to find out it's gonna be this big thing yeah. look at YouTuber you, you, you edit your own your own videos you do the upload you do this so that, that one uh, not to regret but I wish I knew early and I stick to it and another thing is how important to go back, back home. A mm -hmm. lady, I stay here for 20 years. Not because I didn't have no papers. I have papers way back, but just for to be stubborn and look down to other Africa. But when I went to Africa 20, 2019, it opened my eyes. There's a lot that you can do, and there's a lot you can, you can, you can, you can help. There's a lot that you can, you know, you can apply yourself. You know, so it's a lot of it's a lot of things you can do just to just to visit back home and see how people live. So you get the best of us. We we are we have advantage. Okay. Uh, these things, man. This, uh, so um, uh, those are things, man. I wish I knew from the beginning. Yeah, and uh, but I, I'm no regret, man. I'm not a regret person because uh, God is good, man. Uh, look where I'm here now, man. So there's a lot of people that they're not they don't have what I have they're just just for being here. Not because yeah. I'm in America, but the, the blessing come with you. You know, yeah. you can be in America, you don't have the blessings, yeah. but I'm in America and get all this blessing. Uh, is it something I can say, man? I'm thankful. I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? Um, just to be able to help your family, man, is a big, big, big deal. Just to be able to, to share information to other people. Uh, you don't know if they're, they're a wizard, you don't know if they are going <laughs> to... You know, just to be freely, just to, you know, to be blessed and be able not to hold nothing, you know, is, 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 is a blessing. Uh, if someone... Uh, let me give you an example. When you came to America, mm. 
did you because you started living in DC Maryland area yes I was I was uh, yes, but I was majority of people mm -hmm. when they come to America they want to live in New York Illinois, especially Chicago, yes. California, LA, especially San Diego, yes, yes, Sacramento, yes. Blue, San Francisco. Yes. Did you have that mindset that I want for me to feel that I'm in America? Mm. I have to be in these big, famous cities. No, I learned, I learned, I learned the hard way. Yeah, I learned that one in the hard way. I'm a go go boy. You know, go go boy means. No. You don't know the slang, go go boy. No. Go go boy is Washington D.C. area. Yeah. Because of the music, go go music. Oh yeah. So if you if you a foreigner and you came, your port of entry, your first port of entry is is um is 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 is, is Washington DC. Yeah. You're a go go. You're a go go. Um. A go go. Uh, sorry, man. I'm, I'm, this is uh. I'm looking for this address, man. to ask a police in Tanzania. Yeah, no police. <laughs> <laughs> you will be in so no, much in trouble. trouble. Yeah, it's yeah. trouble. So I, I, learned, I learned in a hard way. I, I experienced both sides of the... So I, like I say, my port of entry was in DC, DC Washington. And then I came to Alabama, which is a very <laughs> rural area. <laughs> very rural area, but I appreciate the life there. And then... Uh, uh, when you get older, like you come here with a family, there is no need to, to stay in New York. There is no need to stay in Los Angeles because in Tanzania, the kid there, the young boys, they say, "Unajitafuta." That means you're trying to make it. Yeah. You know, you still you need to find yourself. You're still looking for yourself. So if you are looking for yourself, you don't need to stay on a bigger expense. Because you, you you lose yourself. You lose yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, my, my advice is... Uh, you in America, in America, so... That's anywhere, man. America is everywhere. Look, now we are... Oklahoma City, you're the same, the same like here. Yeah. Now we're in Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, is the same. Durham, Texas, any... That's, you can see just a different with the... Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the buildings and stuff like that. But America is America, man. So, New York City is fast. Los Angeles is expensive. So, yeah for the foreigner just lay back make your money make your foundation then you can you can you can you can explore other places but to start on the big cities uh for me is a little bit challenging especially if you have a family for a young guy if you want to explore your acting career if you want to explore your athletics whatever it's okay for those big cities because there's more more opportunities but if you go to the rural areas which I'm saying rural area, which is not the big city, like still big, like Houston, Texas is big. Yeah. Charlotte, North Carolina is big. And Washington DC is huge. But there is a places where we call rural area, let's say your city. Yeah, built on 20,000. Nice people. place. 30 minutes from the downtown. And yeah. everybody here is driving. Everybody can get an Uber. So uh, my advice, man, just came. I've been in North Carolina, man. I don't think I'm gonna live there. <laughs> I love that place. I'm going to go to <laughs> man, you better come to Missouri. Yeah, you better come to <laughs> Missouri. I, I like Missouri. You know, I like Missouri, but man, I'm used to the people there, man. I'm used to the area there, man. I think I'll, I'll, I'll buy a land there and then just, you know, and you guys can bury me there. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, a big city, man, there's an advantage and a disadvantage. But uh, as a family, you wanna raise a family, rural area. A uh, lot of keys, big cities. That's that's a place to 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 to, to, to reside. That's why you tell people there are so many things mm. to consider, especially not just following the name, but also you can say I live in California. South on South Freeway toward Coleman Street. Mm. I'm just uh, nearby to uh, Hollywood, but you might stay for five years without going to the Hollywood. So what does that mean if 
you are then you cannot go because you'll be busy working two to three jobs to exactly. survive. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. Exactly for sure. So now I think I'm fine. I think we're in the freeway already. This is South Freeway. I think they, 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 um, we have to get to the highway. Oh, keep going for like eight miles. And it's gonna be somewhere down there. Uh, yep. So it should be, it should be okay. So uh, what other question, man? You better ask me. <laughs> <laughs> This is it, man. You, you have a plane to catch. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to fly yeah, you back have to, try to fly back to Missouri, man. Yeah, but I'm you know, and you ha I have the weekend. You have to go back to Tanzania. Oh, yeah, yeah, you go back to Tanzania. Yeah, you told yeah, me. Uh, yeah, so okay. I'm going to this one Saturday. Uh, I mean, tomorrow is my daughter's birthday on 19th. Yes. Then Where my is my father one year anniversary. anniversary. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Then from there, yes. Uh, my wife on Monday goes to California to visit her mother. We see. Okay. We'll be there for a week. She comes on Saturday. We have seven, six, five days. Five days. You guys are going to be off and go. Yeah. Okay. And there will be forty-five days in Tanzania. Wow. Yeah. Man, so. I wish. I wish you carry me on your suitcase <laughs> <laughs> so I can tag along. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, I'm grateful, man, for doing this. Uh, I appreciate for 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 your invitation for you to take a risk to drive with me you don't know if i'm a good driver if i'm a safe driver but there is big old truck so you are brave man <laughs> yeah uh, i hope i didn't shook you <laughs> no i'm very much yeah. safe for this big one yeah, okay that's good yeah yeah they are safe though they're safe to be honest with you um, you maybe you drive crazy yourself but uh, they're Mark most safe and uh, the most important thing is safety. Yeah. No speeding, no crazy overtaking, no crazy changing lane because I'm 53 feet. I can't be doing this, you know? And, and, yeah. and this is not just for the truck. Let me give something immigration tip and cultural tip. Yes. While you are here, when, I mean, even like cooking, when they say put it two tablespoons of something, that two tablespoons. Yeah, that's it. If they say, I'm giving an example, miles, 25 miles, miles, just do 25 miles. miles, you'll be safe. You'll be safe, believe me. If they say, don't smoke here, don't, don't smoke. smoke. Don't pee. Don't pee here, <laughs> don't pee. Simple like that, your life will be very easy. Yeah, be easy. <laughs> be easy. Don't, we don't want to caught up on those stuff and bring back memories. When you apply for a good job, when you apply for a good tracker job, you know, it, it can affect you in the wrong way. You know? yeah, because. Here in the US, there are so small mistakes, but you do not know the market. They can hinder you, yeah, they can hinder you. Like, peeing yeah. on the side of the road, it is okay. common in Africa. Let me, let me... Or drink and drive is common in yeah. Africa. Let me, let me chime in on that one. Yeah. 1999, September the 23rd, I came from Tanzania. Thank you for my father, Dr. Mampande. We used to have a Toyota Stout, you know Stout? Yeah. Yeah. I used to drive a gear, you know, the manual. The manual. Five gear. So, come from secondary school, my father is a doctor, he exposed me, I'm driving, it's good. When I came to America, my cousin, Jeff, have a small car, five gear. And then, I'm new, but I know how to drive, I don't know my way, but I need to take my in-law to work every morning because my school is not started yet. So, but I'm staying home, my brother is leaving five in the morning to go to work, he got his own car. And he left the car, his manual. Shemeji, don't know how to drive, my in-law. I, I can drive I you. I can drive you. Yeah. <laughs> so they caught me driving in Washington, D.C., 16 streets. Eh? 16 yeah. streets. They high, it's a busy, busy street in, in D.C. area. Police, four or five police, they, they chased me. <laughs> I don't know. That means I have to stop. I was just going to. <laughs> uh oh! But guess what? The, the, the thing come. That one came to my record when I want to apply for CDL. Yeah. So I'm in North Carolina, 2012. Remember, that was 1999, September 20, 23rd. 
<laughs> yeah. Three days since I came from Tanzania. Uh -uh. <laughs> they stopped me. You know? So when I start to apply for my uh, CDL, commercial drive license, the federal, they run the background. They say, oh man, you can't be able to do exam because we, you have a hold. They put hold on Ma Montgomery County. What? Montgomery County? I'm not doing that. <laughs> they say, yeah, you have to go and, 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 uh, clear, and clear with them. Then you come back, we allow you because it's a national uh, registry. There's a something you have to go clear there. It was that ticket I didn't pay 10, 15 years ago. It was still on my record. I could I get a uh, license because it's a state. They don't look federal. Uh, federal for past five, seven years. But federal, they went to dig. What I did, they almost, almost 20, 15 years. The they, they didn't bring a helicopter with that. Added, no, I, I, <laughs> because for you, you continue, no, 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 so, uh, for continue well, driving. Well, for them, they see like uh, yes, you have something. So, back, yeah. so they chased me all the way to my building. Thank God, my father, man, rest in peace, man. He make me those international drive license yeah. from back home. So I have that, I have my passport. Three days, the, the officer look at me, look the car, five speed manual. You guys are drive this back home, yes. Ah, okay, look my, hey, man, they recommend me to go to get a learner permit in Washington, uh, yeah. DC. Uh, but uh, because I moved to Alabama. to Alabama, I couldn't get it on time. So the record stayed there for all this year. <laughs> when I apply for my federal, job now it came up on my record the guy you have to go and pay the ticket guess how much it was how much 75 dollars oh yes so I accumulated it was like 15 dollars pennant yeah for me to drive with, with that yeah DC uh mainland drive license he stayed on the record for almost 10 years yeah now, almost 10 years then I have to pay 75 dollars to clear my <laughs> Man, yep. So very small things, man. Uh, because I, I was naive, I couldn't know. I was, I, I was ignorant. I, I, I didn't know the, the rules. And the ticket they give you just a piece of yeah, paper. Piece of paper, man. They don't I, just I, take you I throw to the it. Yeah. <laughs> so those are learn, lessons that you can give, we can share. So you have to, you have to keep your nose. They call. We have a slang in North Carolina. They say you have to keep your nose clean. Yeah. That means you don't, don't sniff something. There's no smell. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm grateful, man. I'm, I'm go through this advice, adversity. Uh, it make me stronger. It make me to give other blueprint to other people. Even my young brother, they come. I know you're gonna be chaperoning them, but I'm gonna yeah. be there also just to put my input. Say, don't do this, do that, do that. Because we've been here for 20 years, man. Yeah. We don't know everything, but we know some. Yeah. You know. We, and we know things which we is got better is in Uganda. Uh, to survive here, yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I know I don't say this in a bad way, but it's a lot of people that get in jail. You can't drive a truck when you come out. You can't get hired. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you end up just do, domestic violence. Uh, you you, you slap your wife. You beat your wife. Beat Over you here is no no. You know, a woman here is like a goal. Yeah, yeah. So those rules they make for them. You touch them, you go to jail. You can you can't get a job. You can't do anything. Especially the kids also. Yeah, kids. The same good. thing. So even so beating I, a dog. Yes. Just ask my <laughs> Vic. <laughs> so oh, uh, we man. share this information not just for funny, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a life lessons where people that can use and apply to better this themselves while they're in a foreign country. I've been here without my father, my mama for twenty three years, and then I'm making it. Yeah. There is no excuse. You come with a green card already. And you are have a wife or you have a kid, whatever you're older already. Yeah. I came here, man. And I can barely speak English. You know, from six or from from four Tanzania, I can't speak like him. Yeah, you know that, that's a reality. But uh, we survived. Okay. It's, yeah, this is a really funny question for you. Okay. Uh, the time you came in Tanzania, we didn't have much of the westernized hotels. Westernized the food of this level we have in Tanzania. Mm. Like you can eat KFC, you can eat salad, you can eat other things. Yes. When you came to America, what was the strangest yes. food which was cultural shock for you in terms of food wise, first of all? Food wise? Yeah. I can say burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can say burger, man. Burger was the strangest food. I was uh, sneak. You know, I would make mistake. Sometimes I'm going to buy burger. I'm a Muslim, right? Yeah. So sometimes I go to buy a burger. He got a bacon on it. Yeah. And it's not turkey bacon. It's, it's pork. bacon pork. Yeah. yeah. So that's what shocked to me. When I get it there, I read the ingredient. I have to read everything, man. So that's what shocked for me. So everything I, I got, I need to read. <laughs> and now I know, man. Give me number five. <laughs> yeah. Were you able uh, to order food without no, your photos? No, 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 <laughs> I are, used to go there, I go to the restaurant. With my, accent, with my accent, they have to ask me twice. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, but in, in, you know, after eventually you catch up. And then for me, I was, you know, married to America, to American, so black American game. Yeah, so uh, I, I, was, I was saying when it comes to food, like for me, like I used to yeah. go to a restaurant, they have a number. And they, uh, they must have the photo. If they don't have the photo, I get out like, okay, just okay. Uh, this bad food because if you mention anything, I do not yes, know. Yes, yes. I remember one time mm. I was with my roommate who's from, uh, from Oman. So we went to order. So everyone was, was asking chicken salad, chicken salad. So <laughs> the same. You don't even mention what. Yeah. The same. Give the same chicken. Yes. So they gave chicken salad. Man, so, first of all, this aggressive for me. I say it's chicken, big chicken, and a piece of salad. No, yeah. it was a piece, of, a lot of grasses, and a lot of, uh, tank oh. of, of chicken. Man, he was like, No, no this is not this what is I'm no for, food. Yeah, this is not what I'm yeah. looking forward. But, mother, is is that a, a shock uh, cultures where they have to expect because they come to the foreigner country. So, the way of eating, the way of dressing, the way of driving, the way of is, is, is going to be a little bit shock for them. But, uh, don't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? So because these things we is here already, so don't be surprised. You know? Yeah, I mean it's so interesting to catch. On the day you were getting into the plane to come to America, man, was it how many times is that, was that your first time to to come to America? First of to travel out of your yeah, country. Yeah, that was my first time to come to America. I mean, not to any country. I didn't go to Kenya. I didn't go to Uganda. I don't wanna lie to you. My first plane was. Uh, uh, Nairobi, Kenya, yeah. British Airways. Then, uh, then uh, Ethrop. Yeah, England. England, and then DC, Washington, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first of all, were you able to order the food in the restaurant? No, I in, in first, the place. first of all, I couldn't sleep for three days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the bad thing is, you know. Uh, I supposed to get here in 1998. Yeah. Bad luck, the embassy was bombed. Yeah, Nairobi and uh -huh. Kenya was yeah, bombed. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when they bombed in the thing, all my my paperwork was <laughs> <was closed. laughs> Yeah, so we had to start over the process. But get, thank God, my father, man, he keep those emails, those uh, emails from school. He keep all those on his folder. So it was easy to retrieve and to ask them to send a new i Yeah. So when the Ubalozi people they rush they go to Malawi they go to uh, South Africa to get visa but my father say no you're good right here we're gonna wait <laughs> bro I wait one year man with my i20 to wait for the to, uh, to get to, here, to, man. To, to. you know so it, it was a torture in kind of way because I know I'm gonna be leaving but I can't tell nobody I don't know for sure <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah so those are things when um, 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 I'm still remember till today because um, uh, when I get here and uh, on a, on a, on a plane in did Ethel, you sleep in the plane? No, <laughs> bro, I, bro. I Were you able to eat the food in no, the plane? No, I did. I sleep for three days, man. I did <laughs> sleep for three days. The day we went to the interview, I get the pa passport, the visa. the visa. Then the day I'm going to the airport, four o'clock. PM, JK. I'm gonna ask my mom to send those pictures. May I still have those pictures? But when I go to that, so when we talk about the warehouse, we talk yeah, about this, this is the warehouse. warehouse. Yeah. This is not warehouse. this is small storage, yeah. Yeah. Like heavy warehouse. duty. Yeah, this is the warehouse. Man, we pick, we pick it up here. Hopefully, they know that put seal on my on my truck. But I will change the seal because I'm gonna pick another load yeah. and go to another city to Mississippi. Then I'll, I'll take this. Um, uh, to uh, Alabama. So, man, three days, man. You know, three <laughs> days of no sleep. My brother Amza, my brother Isa, 
man, we were just talking, talking, man. Tupac, this, Tupac, that. <laughs> man, you got to see Tupac, man. Hey, where they, where he died, man? Ah, man, we talked for three days, man. <laughs> when I get to the airport, my my throat was 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 gone. <laughs> Voice, was, yeah. You don't have to talk about the Tupac. <laughs> yeah. So I want I want you to record here the way uh, he checked me in, okay? Just listen how the conversation goes, and uh, you see. Hey, officer. How's going? I'm fine. How are you? Doing good. Yes, I have a pickup. I'm going to Alabama, Contonwood. Pickup, you said? Yes, sir. You have a pickup number? Yes, I, I should have here. It's MD 100 one Got it. Yes, sir. Uh, and I think it's only one uh, eleven pallets or something like that. Okay. Have you been here before? No, this is my first okay, time. No problem. Uh, you're gonna stay on the south side track. South side track yeah, on the left end. All the way around the building. Uh huh. About halfway down, two forty three is your check in. Oh, four, oh, 43. Oh, 243. Thank you, sir. All right. So the, the guy is checking you in to get to the to the to the ship. To the, to the correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh is is it nine one seven? That's a uh, track. I wrote the other number down. No, no, no. It's nine one seven. Sorry, man. I need to take that down. That's all right. Thank I you. appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to, take number. Yeah. I need to, to put it in English word. Yes. So my track is 917. <laughs> you read the Arabic number. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is a warehouse, but I direct us to go to door 243. Yes. So we think it's yeah. huge. So we go to pick it up at door 43. Like you see, everything is organized. Only pickup number they want. Yeah. So they put a pickup number in, in and say you, when they put it on the computer, you show where you're going. So they don't have to put a different product in the truck. Yeah, because yeah. you want to go so there and they find it. Somebody's already doing the logistics here. IT, that's why the IT people, like my young brother, they put those data in the computer and stuff like that and upload them. So this this is the way how you do, man. Makulila, you should should be my manager. <laughs> yeah, you see, so other trucks they're already here. Yes, the other truck is here, and this is two two. So we go all the way to the middle there. I say that's why we're gonna check in uh, two forty three. Yeah, this is a huge, it's huge man. So nearby where we live, yes, we have the, the warehouse. Yeah, so they they built. Five, they are going to be this. It was uh, there was a, uh, an old go, uh, golf course golf which course, is yeah. 160 acres. Wow, so they are going to be the six, so uh, they're building uh, only four or five already. I'm scared, man. They built this another warehouse, it looked like gonna have a nuclear war, man. And <laughs> people are gonna be they say two, two, four, they for the three right there. There's a door, so the door. why those people put in a small vehicle there? Yeah, no, 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 you don't back in there. The two, two for the three. Is a number to, us, to to make sure you you see the small door. You see the step there? Yeah. To go in. That's why I'm going there to check in there. Oh. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Or you can come with me with the, with the camera. When you get there, you tell me. I'll watch you here before they can be upset with my camera. And take your, your <laughs> Yeah. You will start crying. Exactly. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, everyone has been asking every mm. single time about how much the owner operator of the truck in the United States states is able to make so we have our owner operator of the truck shaban yes. and is going to share with us and remember this is what we want to hear from people when they want to share some good information just apart from say oh it's about god about everything but want to get inspired Hard so work. the information is sharing you is not about boosting it's not about showing off it's just for the no. purpose of motivating teaching. you yes. and teaching you and tell you the reality instead of these unnecessary stories online exactly. so thank you first of all for allowing us to <clears> show <throat> the finances and the, how much a truck driver and special owner operator of the truck is able to make yes sir i know you want to get on my bank account eh? <laughs> <laughs> but for you my brother I would, I would do it um the trucking business is varying it's varying for this tourism yeah first of all uh there's a business side the second side is economical yeah. arrangement of the whole country so if, if things go well truck drivers make money 
if things go bad we still make money we still make a living but it's a minimum way so there's a the two things where we can consider a minimum as a owner truck driver you can make it two thousand dollar to twenty five hundred a week this is given no yeah. matter what you gross if you can drive three thousand miles a week you're gonna average around two thousand dollars to two thousand five hundred yes to two thousand five hundred that but, is the bare minimum. But bare minimum. So now I'll show you the four weeks uh, where you can average yourself how much you make. I don't want to say how much you make, but I want to show you, and then you can show your people. So okay. I'm going to start from the last Friday check. Okay. okay. So I'm going to start the last Friday check, uh, which is week 17, we call. And this week uh, I was working from. April of 25th to May 1st so I want you to zoom out so you can see there yeah it, it started you had three four trips yes and in these four trips you went to uh, Web City Missouri uh, exactly. Texas uh, Mississippi and the Indianapolis Indiana yes sir yeah so I usually work with somebody who uh, take 20% of dispatching fee he give me a trailer, he give me a fuel card, and he find me a lot. I don't have to worry about finding lots. So I usually take, take 20%. So I'll show you the money where the 20% and I'll show you the calculation for um, the calculation for the balance where I have. So this is a gross. So uh, the gross is 7,850. That is a gross. You take it twenty percent for the broker. You remain with six thousand two hundred and eight. The, and then minus the a thousand dollars, some six hundred dollars. That's a few. One thousand dollars seven hundred and eighty-five. The okay. fuel. And the fuel. Now I'll show you the balance, the check for the last Friday. And this we are talking is for one week. One week. So after everything, you remain with the, uh three thousand nine hundred and fifty-one. So we are talking about four thousand US yes. dollar. So we are talking about four grand. This is the last Friday. For one okay. one week. For one week. From April twenty fifth to May first. Yes. And you are you show the document there. So people they, that's week seventeen. So week prior to this one is week sixteen. So as usual, I'll show you the time, the dates. It was April eighteen to April twenty fourth. I want you to show the week. You went to South Carolina, you went to Maryland, Missouri again, and Indiana. Yes. Four trips. Four trips. In these four trips, I'll show you the gross, and I'll show you the 20%, and I'll show you the few. Okay? I want you to to zoom it up, man. Yeah. 500. Uh, so, first of all, the... Uh, yeah. So, each one was... They, they can't say, my lord, man. They cancel. Five hundred and something. They so. cancel. There's no load. Oh, there's no load? Yeah. No, you can come back later? Yeah, or? maybe. I want to get another number and come back okay. later. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, basically, it wasn't ready? Yeah, it was not ready. Yeah, so I can see now the total of each one. And it's going to 2745 That is the... The, uh, that, that is the uh, we want to the, uh, uh, uh -huh. that is the amount at the bottom which is the final that's the final I'll but give the, you the check now oh okay. so this is only the deductions all the deductions the, 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 the expenditures okay uh, after 20 percent of dispatching fee few pay myself now i'll show you the check and when you say the remain that amount is the amount you are going to put as a profit and the, and the profit in but, the bank account yeah four thousand one hundred and sixty nine so this is more than the previous one. Yes. Is that the guy? I think so. Okay, just pause that one. And I'll show you the third one. Those are just two checks. Yes, for two weeks. So I'll show one you was four thousand, another one is four thousand and one hundred yes. something. As a profit after taking all the deduction, yes. including paying yourself. Yes. So that is eight thousand one hundred and something for yes. two weeks. Now I'll show you week fifteen. Week 15. Uh, One second, Dave. The guy's coming. Uh, week 15 
is April 11 to April 17. I want you to zoom it out for me, sir. Uh, you went to Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Georgia, Mississippi, Texas, and the Alabama. Alabama. Four now, trips. four trips, my gross, I gross around 9,000, 7,000 it was uh, after 20%. 9,000, yeah. Yes. So, 7,300. 7, and $1,000 was a fuel deduction or whatever, whatever. Yeah, 600, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you the check balance now. The check balance again here is five thousand dollars five thousand two hundred and forty four so adding eight thousand and one hundred that is yeah thirteen thousand so i'm taking three home weeks. three weeks five thousand four thousand four thousand uh, that's eight thirteen thousand dollars thirteen thousand so three i'll weeks. show you the last one the last two weeks. i know, so you, one I know you have a, i know you have a plan to catch men but i'll show you the, the last, last one so we want to find it for a full four yeah, weeks full four weeks so four four weeks uh, I'll skip the uh, Ramadan uh, the week of Eid, Eid because yeah. it took off. So March 28 to April 6, this is what I what I had. So you went to uh, Kansas again, South Carolina, Tennessee, and North Carolina. Yes, four trips. Four trips, and my gross again on this one was seven thousand eight something. You can zoom it up, sir. Yeah, so 7,820. After 20% 20 off for the broker, you remain with 6,256. And then the fuel was 1,603. Yes. I'll give you my checks now. The balance check where I go to my bank account. Is a profit. 4,357. So meaning 4,300, 4,100, 4,000 and 5,000. You do the math, brother. That makes it like... <laughs> Seventeen thousand? No. Eighteen thousand? No. Yeah, twelve. Yeah, Seventeen thousand. So four thousand times, times three. Four, times three. That's and four, five thousand. Five, five thousand. One five thousand. That's seventeen thousand. That's for a month. Man. You gonna let your plane? I want you to catch a plane, man. I Thank you very much, my brother. And don't, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. You are, you are, If you ask for money, I'll write you a check. <laughs> I'll give you a check, man. Man, thank yeah, you so much man, for sharing this one. I really appreciate it. I'll show it to some people. Yeah. Brother, you're